Okay, in the next few slides, I'm going to talk about a hernia repair and hernia meshes as a, as a different application for polymers. We looked at catheters, so I just thought I'd break away from the, from the usual. So a hernia, what it is, it occurs when an organ pushes through an opening in the muscle or tissue that holds it in place and is particularly prevalent um, in, in the stomach, for example. Um, there's iguinal inguinal in the inner groin, groin, femoral in the upper thigh, outer groin. Incisional occurs from an incision or a scar in the abdomen. So this might happen after a surgery. Ventral, ventral can happen in the general abdominal or ventral wall, umbilical at the belly and hiatal inside the abdomen or along the upper stomach or the diaphragm. So what happens is the, the organ just, just pushes up through the muscle um, and, and you might actually see a bulge uh, on the outside of the skin. Uh, they can cause a lot of pain, uh, especially hiatal. It, it is pushing up into the diaphragm. It can stop people being able to eat properly. Um, so hernias are problematic and there are a number of treatment options. So uh, surgically, uh, the surgeon will either operate laparoscopically, keyhole surgery or open repair. And in both instances, um, the surgeon repairs the, the muscle area um, by uh, suturing it and with or without the addition of a surgical mesh. Uh, the surgical mesh strengthens the hernia repair and it is known to reduce the rate of recurrence. Um, so since, since the 1980s, there's been an increase in mesh-based hernia. And uh, according to the FDA, Information found in med medical literature has consistently demonstrated a reduced hernia recurrence rate when surgical mesh is used to repair the hernia compared to hernia repair without surgical mesh. mesh. So this is significant. If you have a hernia and it has been repaired, it is likely that the tissue is still weakened and you may get a recurrence. So this is where the mesh really strengthens the area and allows the tissue to regenerate uh, fully. So it's used to provide additional support for weakened or damaged tissue. The majority of surgical mesh devices currently available are constructed from synthetic materials or animal tissues such as collagen or extracellular matrix. But uh, synthetic materials that are used are uh, commonly polypropylene or polytetrafluoroethylene. And these can be in knitted meshes or non-knitted sheet forms. They can be absorbable, non-absorbable, or a combination of both. So typically, the um, these polypropylene P PTFE, these are the non-absorbable types. The uh, naturally derived are absorbable, but there are some um, absorbable polymers uh, that could be used as well, such as polycaprolactone. Uh, so just these are some examples of hernia meshes uh, so you can see they, they sometimes they need to plug a hole um, and and they are they're sutured onto the weakened area in order to uh, give strength okay so that completes hernia mesh repair thank you